I'll show you how to do something pretty simple. Um, and this won't be using no collision maps or anything. And that'll be pretty quick. But if you want to animate something in Blender that you don't collide in, something that maybe for you got something in the background you want to have animate. Like I had a plane fly by and cars in the background that were not, you know, game cars, just like scenery. But what you'll do is uh, you'll turn on this auto keying down here and you start at frame one and it here you just tell it how many frames you want it to be. So we'll just say a hundred. And then you go down to jump to the end point. This is just an example. Uh, you want to move the object. Then it, you go back to frame zero or frame one and you slide it back. And what that will do is it will basically move from one point to the next. I won't get into all the things about animation and all that stuff, but uh, you, know, you can. There's so many things you can do, but this is just to show you how to do it in the game. So, if you want your object to do something, you know, in the game, you can do that. So what we'll do is just export this. Just as we won't fool with any of this, I'll we'll just go to export, uh, Collida, and we'll stick it in one of our levels that we're working on. Um, I can put it. Let me see where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna stick it in my Ukraine art folder. Just export it like that. Then load the level. And we didn't make a texture for it either. So I just like I said I wanted to I wanted to make this quick. So go to the S11, get into your editor, and then go to your asset browser. And I, I think that was just called Cube. I didn't even give it a name. So I'm assuming that this name in here. A lot of assets. And you don't use but a handful of them the cube. They don't have a texture. That's not the same cube. Export. Oh, it's untitled. <laughs> Sorry y'all. I didn't give it a name. It's, uh, it's untitled by default. Uh, untitled. There's our little animated cube. Pretty easy to do. Um, I can show you a couple examples of what how I used it uh, for doing things. Uh, one thing is there are these cars here, and these low poly cars are just driving in the background. They just meant to be seen driving in the background. I did it for all the people that are animating. They're all using that concern of that. These are, let's see, I've got to turn them back on. They're annoying me if I turn them off. Uh, these are the planes that you see flying off of. I did it the same way. Same way I did that to you. And they're just nice little things that you can have in the background when you're 
uh, going around your track. Where is the car at? Y'all see my car? I don't see. I might have spawned it a different place. Yeah, I spawned it a different place. So, uh. Like you'll see when you're just going around the track, you'll see these things. Uh. Adding some ambience to. Uh. The level. Yeah, my water is gone. That's crazy. I don't know what happened to the water in the lake. But, anyway, there's some little fishies. I did those the same way as I did the box you just seen. Well, yeah, if anybody's interested more in how anything, like that kind of stuff, I do any of that stuff, I'll be happy to make some videos on it. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit work more. I'm gonna do a little bit more tomorrow on this level. I'm gonna um, see when I first started this thing. I, it was only just one track. It was just this track, and I wanted to do a second track over here. And I kind of quit working on it when I uh, couldn't figure out how to make the AI traffic go through a tunnel. So. I figured, well, you know what I'll do, hell, if I can't get the AI traffic to go through the tunnel, uh, which, damn, my tunnel's missing for some reason. That was weird. I probably would have probably moved it somehow. I probably grabbed it and moved it, screwed it up. I probably slid it a little bit. Or, I, yeah, I had to have done something stupid when I was working on something else because you don't see through it now for some reason. Um, damn, what the hell did I do to there? That's crazy. I worry about that another time. Uh, but yeah, so I had this other track idea and I couldn't get the AI to go through the tunnel, so I had another idea that I would have two court two you could go through the tunnel or you could go around it but going through the tunnel you'd have to go through the water and that would slow you down but if you go the alternate route that I'd plan to chisel along through here it would be a longer path to end up at the same destination you know to get to the same point you know you had an option and I just had the AI take the other option and uh but now i figured out how to make them go through so i ain't worried about this i'll redo this whole tunnel with the new idea that i got and uh figure out how i'm gonna do the rest of the track i mean i got pretty much all this area i can work with um and if i needed to i could come all the way around the outskirts I had planned at one time to have one of the, to have the track kind of, um, in some way cross the little river thing that I made and have them kind of go, uh, over it. Man, a lot of shit's not working. Man, that's not even working right for some reason. This got me irritated a little. Hang on, I'm not going, I'm not going. 
on joke that's uh like what the hell I know I saved that maybe I didn't I could have there's no time I'm out of there's no telling there really isn't but I have the um, other track across that river damn I cannot get my keys or fingers to do right here but yeah I have the other track uh, after it goes through the tunnel wind around down back back through this area and then come over this is actually one of the spawn points I have it kind of go this way through here around the back past the, the, the farting uh, outhouse And maybe tap into all this unfinished area there's like none of this this is just empty space it ain't got anything going on maybe come back up across this road that those cars cars are going through and then I got all this area here that I can do stuff with And then, of course, the, uh, you get back to the beginning here. This is where a little section I was kind of working on a little bit earlier today. I must have not saved the damn game because that I did a lot more than that. I had to just absentmindedly exit it and didn't close. Uh, I'm so used to, like, testing, like, the damn mods and uh, the ugly head thing that, you know, I... I probably just closed it. That's what I. That's what I had to have done. But these are some of the. Uh, this is the latest little thing of rocks I made here. These were just. Uh, I, I made them in meshroom. Those those rocks. Um, so I can show you what they look like on the uh, the pictures. Like the meshroom just took. I was gonna make a video on how to do this. I already made a few. Uh, but I was gonna make a newer one, but that's what um, those rocks were. I just made it into a model, and it's it's got uh, lots too. So the farther away you get, the lesser detail, so it won't be so intensive. It disappears there because it's making a billboard. But since I scaled that them rocks larger than what they actually are the billboard is showing is uh you can see it here and it's very small and for some reason some of these rocks like these red ones you see the bb auto billboard for the lod system does not do right and you get when it changes lods on these for example they're turning red i don't know why that happens uh but yeah i just I painted all this crap just to be like grass and stuff but the intention was actually to do, to come back and redo all this with uh, like uh, uh, cliffs like I brought all I just yesterday or the day before yesterday I brought all my textures over from the rock quarry track and I'm just gonna basically just redo this so it's kind of like a, a you know, like a canyon kind of thing. These are the, some of the textures I made for that over there. Uh, several different rock types. Uh, that ain't, that's for the ground. There's one. These are like the first ones that I tried to make. I got some that will also work on the ground where some of them won't if they're 
side projection they won't work on the ground which you know right now you can't even you can change anything in here but you can't save it <laughs> you gotta manually change everything now uh, in, in the damn file in the uh, art uh, I'm sorry in the uh, level levels Ukraine art terrain and in here you got this file so you can you can make stuff in here you can make changes in here and save it um, I thought about uh, if anybody wants some I know I already had packed all my materials one time but I don't think I included the material Jason but if anybody wants it I'll probably pack that up uh, and put it on one drive is what I'm thinking I'll do but yeah I got all that that's what I wanted to do I want to redo this whole area basically and uh, make it uh, finish it more or less so it's you know I can update the track people probably impatient waiting on an update I'd be I see other people's stuff they post they like I see what comments there like, you know people want the updates for things and you know I know me I'm an impatient person so like um I'd be uh, one of them impatient people too. But you know, really, I don't play this game a lot. I don't really actually get to sit down and play it. I spend all my time in the editor. It's like it's like an obsession now. <laughs> uh, maybe they should be uh, World Editors Anonymous or something. Hi, I'm Terry. I hello, Terry. <laughs> I'm an editor an addict <laughs> I didn't know I didn't have a problem <laughs> until my life got out of control and all I did was stay in the editor I quit going outside the only time I go outside is when the power goes out and that's just to see if the neighbor's power went out too <laughs> Then I can decide whether or not uh, something's wrong. If I need to yell at somebody downstairs for flipping a breaker. <laughs> yeah, I think there maybe ought to be in a uh, a group for that. Have a little coffee served. Sit in a circle. Tell your stories what the editor did to you <laughs> yeah describe all them times that no texture popped up on something I don't know if anybody wants to see uh, my very first uh, it's like March this year, March of 2021, when I started to fool with this editor. And uh, I got, let me find my screenshots here. Shit. Um, you think I know how to navigate to it? Where is screenshots for this thing? Okay. Scroll down to the very beginning. I'll show you the, like the first thing I ever made in this editor. So if anybody's got issues too, that's not that. That's other people's crap. Where's my stuff at? I think I skipped it. Serial screenshots. Okay. Let's go down to the very beginning 
first thing I made in uh, beam. And you can see my uh, venting in frustration. All right, so this is the first thing I figured out how to do. You got a damn hat from 3D Studio Max. Uh, I got it to load in the game, but I never could figure out how in the hell to get the texture to work. Yeah, wish Beam Genji had import OBJ. <laughs> so that was my first complaint. Here's my next one. My next complaint here. Why is it so difficult to assign textures to static objects? This is a stake I animated, but by the way, you can see. <laughs> yeah, I knew how to animate in 3D Studio, but I could get textures to work. Uh, but really, anyone know where I. Uh, I ain't reading all that. It's embarrassing, actually. Uh, but yeah, this was my my gripe. I could I could not figure the crap out for nothing, man. And then later on, I finally uh, started to figure figure some of it out. And uh, actually, there's ugly head. Uh, that's the 3D model that I had messed around with in 3D Studio. So I was pretty happy at this point. I got some damn textures to work. I figured that out. I'm still complaining though. Wish they had import OBJ. Uh, then I started fooling around with the the Stiggy dummy. Once I figured out textures, I figured out how to get my head on the uh, Stiggy and work. But I still didn't understand textures, so like the hat still screwed up. I didn't know how to fix any of that. And then I started my very first track, the very first one here. I made these custom models in 3D Studio. They're very ugly rocks, but this was it, my first track. And just a jump on this island. I think everybody makes the first tracks on an island. But yeah, that was my first one, so of course I wasn't happy with that. I started doing a little bit more, I started figuring out. I had an issue here I didn't understand at some point uh, I was driving through the mesh and I didn't understand the collision I didn't understand that you couldn't scale a static mesh and it sometimes or most all the time it'll mess up the collision mesh where it won't scale with the object sometimes it works sometimes it don't but this was my dilemma and I did a little bit more I got uh, this look like I had a like kind of like a roller coaster in my mind. I modeled these things in 3D Studio. I made the uh, did I make these vines or are these the vines from the game? I can't remember. I think these are these might be ones I made. I can't remember, but I figured out how to animate them where they move when the wind blows. Uh, well, not using the real wind using the uh, animate texture thing and uh, this was the first grass that I tried to make on my own uh, oh those are the game vines from the game these are the ones that I've made so I, I was figuring this out but I still didn't understand how to make them draw on just certain areas they just popped up everywhere that wasn't a static mesh and that irritated me to no end because I couldn't figure it out uh, and then I moved on to making a Camp Crystal Lake track which this is using most of the game assets except I made that dock I made these little log cabins in 3D Studio uh, I made these little rocks here uh, and there's ugly head head sticking out of the water now I know how to do it now I could actually do this track really cool I made this thing too uh, but the main this is a pond the main lake was back behind this tree line and I really hated the way the trees in the game LOD would 
switch like the ones back here would turn into a two-dimensional uh, billboard which was terrible for screenshots so I basically made like this big wall with a texture of trees on it to kind of try to hide that you can see that back here try to hide the uh, trees that were changing and even back here I, th this is a two-dimensional cut out back here it's not even real 3d like I mean it's 3d but it's not like a game it's like a cardboard box cut out basically but yeah then the main lake was back here and you would jump the lake and I, of course I had his head at the bottom I didn't know how to do custom sounds I didn't know how to animate like objects uh, but now I could probably do that pretty cool if I ever went back to redo this it's just another screenshot this ugly head uh, the one that I hand painted just another screenshot just looking at uh, from a different uh, view then I had the idea to make the outrun track from the game outrun I was like well shit I made these two dimensional you know mountains I could make two dimensional like little palm trees from the game and take screenshots from the uh, arcade game and make the little cutouts for the house I didn't know how to do the music uh, at that time but I did go as far as cutting out all these little people from my screenshots making them 2d objects and then using the animate textures they didn't they just hopped up and down like really quick like little jumping fleas and and he was hopping up and down I had the sign animating a little bit uh, where it uh, I was using a texture map to animate. Uh, of course, the crowds were all that shit came from uh, the arcade, just taking screenshots of it. That's another shot. This was the first grass that I made that I was kind of happy with. Which I don't know what happened to that grass. I like that better than the grass in my Ukraine track. But yeah, that was the first grass that I was kind of pleased with. And uh, and this is when I figured out how to stick my head on Crash Heart Dummy. Right here. Which is basically the same thing as sticking him on the Stiggy Dummy. Uh, and then I figured out how to stick Ugly Head on <laughs> Crash Head Dummy. <laughs> or the model anyway not the mod and so this is just another part of that crystal lake map uh, just, and then I figured out how to use meshroom and then I started making the 3d models for meshroom like the uh, from Google Earth I made a few different things in there uh, they're just such large objects that, you know, up far away they look fine, but if you drive on them, man, they're shit. You'd have to have a 100,000K texture to look good up close. So I, I kind of abandoned that idea. And, uh, I found the meshes from my old cell phone where I used this app for the phone to generate 3D terrain or from 3D objects. And, uh imported them in you can see how it had me looking and you could drive on it just like a regular map another picture and then I had the idea well let me shit let me make Niagara Falls jump Niagara Falls which none of that animated by the way it's just a steel object I mean yeah I mean it this is one giant mesh it was a hundred and fifty or three hundred thousand polygons um, and it wasn't the right scale when I finally got it to the right scale uh, which is like 50 meters high for the falls this is only like 10 meters high so it wasn't very accurate 
And then I had the idea, well, let me uh, make a space track, which I'd finish that track. That's another view of Niagara. I would finish that track, but there are so many damn problems with the textures that I didn't know nothing about them, about uh, converting stuff to uh, DDS files or anything like that. Everything, every texture was like 20 megs or so. Uh, yeah, I made all kinds of things. Uh, there's videos on my YouTube of some of these things. Like, there's the truck, uh, and there's, like, the part of a black hole that I was making. I was trying to mimic, like, one of the scenes from Interstellar. But to drive from one side of this, this was like a, a the you know, in, universe was basically a giant egg. You're inside of it, and it had a texture of the space. I had to take the fog and stick it way down below where the ground would be and uh, fool with the lighting forever to finally make it look like it was in space um, but it was like the view distance wide it was probably like if you know how you can set your view distance it's like a default of like maybe 1500 or 4000 this is like 170,000 wide like that's how far I had to make it to see one end to the other and since there isn't a lot in there but just little balls for planets and the textures rotated I had the clouds also rotating but since there's only just a few things in here I mean it ran great I could run it over uh, well my old older card uh, my old 1080 card I could run it at 4k uh, 60 no problem there's another picture of the uh, part of uh, the uh, black hole and this animated all the stuff that's probably what pissed me off the most is when I went back to, to work on it like all my textures were not animating they were all still none of this stuff you know moved any none of this this was the sun that I made but none of that stuff pissed me off to no end that's when I just said to hell with it I ain't I ain't gonna fool with it anymore in fact, I had put it on, I had uploaded it, said anybody can have it that wants it. If you want to finish it, you put your name on it, I don't care. I just, I was, I was done with it. So, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I'll do some more tomorrow on this, uh, do, do some more on this tomorrow. Well, actually, I'll probably do some more tonight. I'll just hit the record button and set, um, uh, this time I will probably just stick it in Blender and then fast forward it by like uh, five or something like that and uh, upload it. So.